key of A minor. Cool. Key of C major. One, two, three, four. Same scale pattern, two different keys, major and minor. Hey everybody, Gary here with Guitar Tricks, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you could just use one scale, one scale pattern to play in any key, major or minor. I'm gonna show you how you could see how that one scale is two different scales, actually. Same five notes, same pentatonic scale, but it has a major tonic and a minor tonic, and you wanna to get to know which is which and how you can move that all over the fretboard. Now we're not just gonna do one scale pattern, I'm actually gonna give you two as a bonus because if you have two, you can get all over the neck and you won't be stuck to one place, but just one is enough to survive. Before we get into the lesson, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks and if you wanna be notified of any new lesson, be sure to tap the bell. Also, let us know what topics you'd like for us to cover on the YouTube channel we're always looking in the comments section. All right, let's get into it. So let's say we've got a chord progression in the key of A minor. I'm gonna lay one down on my looper. It's gonna go A minor, D minor, E minor like this. One, two, three, four. And now I wanna solo over it. So I'm gonna use this A minor pentatonic scale pattern one as a first step. Totally works, right? Now here's the cool thing. This A minor pentatonic scale is also the C major pentatonic scale, right? So this was A minor, was when I went Right, I ended on that A, that A really felt like the home note. Now watch this, I'm gonna start from the note C with my pinky. Sounds totally different if I start on the note C because now you're hearing all those notes in relation to the note C instead of in relation to the note A. So it's like an ear trick. So now I'm gonna play a chord progression in the key of C. I'm gonna go C, F, and G like this. Okay, one, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna use that same scale, ready? there it sounded totally like C major instead of A minor. So what we call this is the relative major and minor. And with two different patterns of the pentatonic scale, it's very easy to see how to use both of them. So in this main pattern, pattern one, your index finger is gonna go on the minor root note and your pinky is going to go on the major root note. So if you're looking for the key of C major, find a C, and put your pinky on it, on the low E string. So here's a C on the low E string. If you're looking for the key of A minor, find an A on the low E string and put your index finger on it, right? So for A minor, I go. And for C major, cool, right? Let's say we have another key. So I say, all right, I want to jam in the key of D minor. So now I'm going to play a, a D minor chord progression. One, two, three, four. All right, so there's D minor. So what are you going to do? You're going to use your index finger to find a D on the low E string. 
Well, there's one on the 10th fret. Once you do that, you have your scale pattern. What is the relative major of D minor? Well, where would your pinky go? in this pattern. Your pinky would go on the 13th fret of the low E string. What note is that? F. So that means F major and D minor are going to use the same exact notes of the pentatonic scale. So now if I play in F major, let's say F to B flat to C, that'll sound like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the same exact scale pattern. So there you go, two keys, one scale pattern, right? So that's how that works with pattern one, the main pattern of the pentatonic scale. Now the other pattern where it is the same exact concept, but we use the A string instead of the E string is pattern four. So pattern four has an A string tonic. So let's stick with the same key. So this right now, we had the key of F major. So now we're gonna look for an F on the A string. And there's an F right here on the eighth fret. But being I said major, pinky. Remember, pinky for major, index for minor. So we put our pinky on that eighth fret. And here's the full pattern. Check this out. It looks very similar to the main pattern. It's a little different, so you want to practice and memorize the pattern, but we want to understand how to use it to play it in any key, right? So being we're in the key of F, we put our pinky on that major root. Now that doesn't mean when you solo, you have to start from the root. It just means that that is your home note. That's your, your tonic, right? And the chord progression somewhere or another is going to have the chord that's built off that note, F. So in the case of this chord progression, it goes F, B flat, C, F, right? So we come back to that note. We start on that note and we come back to it, right? So now let's see how that sounds. I'm gonna use this pattern four. One, two, three, four. Sounds great, right? And then using that same concept, if F is our major root, what's our minor root? Where would the index finger go? To D. So D is the relative minor of F. That means that the D minor pentatonic scale and the F major pentatonic scale contain the same exact notes. They're the same scale. So now again, I'm gonna do a loop in the key of D minor. And now that scale is going to work just fine. Right? Okay, let's do that one more key with this pattern four. Let's do F minor. So F minor, now I find that F again. But being I said minor, we're gonna do index finger. Right, index finger. So let me put a little chord progression in F minor. And here we go.
Awesome, right? And what would be the relative major of F minor? Well, where would our pinky go? Just a little technical thing. The relative major and minor are always two letters in the alphabet apart. And they're always on the guitar a step and a half or three frets apart. What's two letters up from F? A. But is it A natural? No, it's A flat. So A flat major and F minor are relative major and minor. The F minor pentatonic scale and the A flat major pentatonic scale are the same scales. So now I'm going to play a chord progression in the key of A flat major. Let's see what happens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I couldn't help myself there. I went to pattern one after pattern four. So that's the beauty of knowing just two patterns to start, these two, one and four, is that from four, if I go up two frets, I'm in one. Right? So the way that you can do that is you want to know where your root notes are on the E string and the A string. So for instance, if you know that your A flat is here and you know that it's also here, well now you have both those patterns. And, and then you could even play it over here. Here's another A flat from the low E string, then from the A string, and then from the E string again. All right, so that's how you use one scale shape. I gave you two options though, so you could say two. You could just stick with one if you want, but having two is twice as good as having one. So you've got two different scale shapes you could use for any key, major or minor. So now you might be wondering, okay, but how do I make solos that sound a little more like yours did? I don't really know what to actually play in the scale shape. Well, that's where you want to check out what players you love actually do in the pentatonic scale. You know, listen to your favorite players, try to learn some of their licks, and then see how that lick fits inside one of these two shapes. I guarantee you, you'll be able to play that lick in one of these two shapes. And then you could workshop that lick and make it your own. So if you hear a really great player in, let's say the key of A minor, does something like. You know, that's just like a simple pentatonic riff. Well then when you're soloing, you can take that idea, take the rhythm. And maybe change it a little bit, right? So I started with, and then I went, right? Slight variation, or I take the same rhythm and put it in different notes. So I use the rhythm as a motif to help give me new ideas. And the more riffs you learn, the more music you learn, the more you listen to, the more there is to grab from in that spontaneous moment when you're trying to improvise. All right, everybody, I hope this lesson was helpful. If you wanna learn more about playing guitar, head over to guitartricks.com. There's sequential courses for guitar fundamentals, blues, rock, country. There's a library of song lessons with downloadable tab and backing tracks. Happy playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.